Hello, Mighty Companion. Hello, Mighty Companion. This is Earl Raj Purdy, and I'm here today to do A Course in Miracles Lesson 345. And A Course in Miracles Lesson 345 is, <clears throat> I offer only miracles today, 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 today. I offer only miracles. I offer only miracles. I offer only miracles today. And that's the same as saying, I offer only loving corrections today. I offer only loving corrections today. A miracle is a correction. So I offer only love today. I offer only love today. That's the only correction is love. I offer only miracles today. I offer only miracles today. I offer only miracles today. But I would have them be returned to me. I would have miracles be returned to me. So I'm going to only offer miracles today because I would have only miracles be returned to me. I would have only miracles be returned to me. So the lesson is, <clears throat> I offer only miracles today for I would have miracles be returned to me. I offer only miracle, miracles, miracles today for I would have them be returned to me. I offer only miracles today. I offer only miracles today for I would have them be returned to me. Father, Mother, God, Father, a miracle reflects your gifts to me, your son. And every miracle I give returns to me, reminding me the law of love is universal. Every miracle that you give returns to you, reminding you the law of love is universal. Every miracle that you give returns to you, reminding you the law of love is universal. The law, the law, the law, the law of love is universal. The law of law, the law, the law of love is universal. Even here, even here, even right here, even here, the law of love takes a form which can be recognized and seen to work. The law of love can take a form, can take an appearance and be recognized even here. The law of love can seem to work even here. The miracles I give are given back in just the form I need to help me with the problems I perceive. The miracles I give. The miracles I give, the correct perceptions I give, the corrections I give, the miracles I give are given back in just the form I need to help me with the problems I perceive. The miracles I give are given back to me in just the form I need to help me with the problems I perceive. The correct perceptions, the miracles you give, the miracles you give are given back to you. The miracles you give, the healings that you give, the miracles that you give are given back to you. The healings and the miracles that you give are given back to you. And you know what's so cool about that? The miracles that you are given are given back to you in just the form, in just the way, in just the appearance that you need. The miracles are given back to you in the way that you need to help you with the problems that you perceive. The miracles that you give are going to be given back to you in just the form you need to help you with the problems that you perceive. Father, in heaven, it's different in heaven. It's different in reality. For in reality, there are no needs. In heaven, there's, there are no needs. In our home, there are no needs. But here on earth, here on earth, here on earth, here on earth, the miracle is closer to God's gifts than any other gift that you can give. Here on earth, the miracle, the healing, the correct perception is closer to God's gifts than any other gift that you can give. Then let me give this gift alone today, which born of true forgiveness lights the way that I must travel to remember you, God. Peace to all seeking hearts today. Peace to all seeking hearts today. The light has come to offer miracles to bless the tired world. The truth has come to offer corrections to the tired world. And the world will find rest today. Your false perception will find rest today. But we can offer what we've received. We can offer what we have accepted. We, ha we can offer what we have received means we can offer what we have accepted. So I offer only miracles today. But I would have them be returned to me. So you offer only miracles today. I offer only miracles today. Only offer miracles today. Only offer miracles today. Only offer correct perceptions today. Offer only correct perception. A miracle is a correct perception, a right answer. So only offer correct perceptions and right answers today. Only offer correct perceptions and right answers today. Only offer correct perceptions and right answers today. For you would have correct perceptions and right answers be returned to you. You would have healings be returned to you. You would have miracles be returned to you. So you offer only miracles today for you would have them be returned to you. I offer only miracles today for I would have them be returned to me. I offer only miracles today for I would have them be returned to me. I offer only miracles today because I would have them be returned to me. I offer only miracles today. For I would have them be returned to me. I offer only miracles today, for I would have them be returned to me. 
I offer only miracles today for I would have miracles be returned to me. I offer only miracles today because I would have miracles be returned to me. This is Earl Raj Purdy. Check out my classes on video and audio on www.earlpurdy.com. Earlpurdy.com. And remember, just to offer only miracles today because you know that's what you want. That's what you want. Hello, hello, mighty companion. This is Earl Raj Purdy, and I'm here to do A Course in Miracles lesson, What is the Miracle? So our theme is going to be, What is the Miracle? What is the Miracle? Do you know that a miracle is a correction? A miracle is a correction. A miracle is a correction. That means that a miracle doesn't create. The, the, the miracle really doesn't change anything at all. The miracle merely looks on devastation. Uh, the miracle reminds your mind that what it sees is false. A miracle reminds your mind that what it sees is false. And a miracle is a correction. So a correction, a correction reminds the mind that what it sees is false. A miracle, which is a correction, uh, undoes error. But a real correction, a miracle, doesn't attempt to go beyond perception. A real correction, which is a miracle, does not exceed the function of forgiveness. Thus, a miracle, which is a real correction, stands, I love this, stands within the limits of time. Yet a miracle, uh, which is a real correction, paves the way for the return of timelessness and love's awakening. For fear must slip away under the gentle remedy that a miracle brings. Fear slips away under the gentle remedy a miracle brings. A miracle contains the gift of gay. The miracle contains the gift of grace. A miracle contains the gift of grace. Because a miracle is given and received as one, it contains the gift of grace. And thus a miracle, which is a real correction, illustrates the law of truth. The law of truth the world doesn't obey. Because the miracle, which is a correction, it actually fails entirely to understand the ways of the world. A real correction doesn't understand the ways of the world. A miracle, which is a correction, inverts perception, which was upside down before. And thus, that means a miracle ends the strange distortions that were manifest. A correction, a correction ends strange distortions. A correction, a miracle ends strange distortions. Now is perception open to the truth. Now that your perception has been corrected, then your perception is open to the truth because your perception has been corrected. It's now open to the truth. And since your perception has been corrected because it's open to the truth, now is forgiveness seen as justified. Now forgiveness is seen as justified because your perception has your perceptions have been open to the truth. So now is forgiveness seen as justified. Forgiveness is the home of miracles. The home of miracles is forgiveness. The eyes of Christ deliver miracles to all to all they look upon in mercy and in love the eyes of love deliver miracles to all they look upon in mercy and in love perception stands corrected in the sight of christ that means perception stands corrected in the sight of love and that means that what was meant to curse has come to bless what you thought was a curse actually you will see that it's a blessing each lily of forgiveness and the course describes forgiveness as correct perception. Each lily of forgiveness, which means each lily of correct perception, each lily of correct perception offers all the world the silent miracle of love. Each lily of forgiveness offers all the world the silent miracle of love. And each is laid before the word of God upon the universal altar to creator and creation in the light of perfect purity and endless joy. The miracle, which is a correction, is taken first on faith. Because to ask for a miracle, to even ask for a miracle implies that your mind has been made ready to conceive of what it can't see and doesn't understand. To even ask for a miracle implies that your mind has been made ready to conceive of what it doesn't understand. Yet faith will bring its witnesses to show that what your faith rested on is really there. What your faith rested on is really there. What your faith, what you had faith in is really there. What you're having faith in is really there. And so the miracle will justify your faith in it. The miracle will justify your faith in it and will show that your faith rested on a world more real. Your faith rested on a world more real than what you saw before. A world redeemed from what you thought was there. The miracle will justify your faith in it. The miracle will show that your faith rested on a world more real than what you saw before. A world redeemed from what you thought was there. Yeah. 
Miracles fall like drops of healing rain from heaven on a dry and dusty world. A correction, corrections fall like drops of healing rain from heaven on a dry and dusty world, which is where starving, thirsty creatures come to die. Miracles fall like drops of healing rain from heaven on a dry and dusty world, where starved and thirsty creatures come to die. Now these starved and thirsty creatures have water. Now the world is green, and everywhere the sights of li the signs of life spring up everywhere. The signs of life spring up everywhere. Everywhere the signs of life spring up to show that what is born can never die. What is born can never die, and what has life has immortality. What is bo what is born can never die. For well, what has life has immortality? What is a miracle? What is a miracle? What would it take for a miracle to show up in ways beyond your wildest imagination through the Holy Spirit? What would it take for a miracle to show up in your life beyond your wildest imagination through the Holy Spirit? What is a miracle? What is a correction? What is a miracle? What is a miracle? <laughs> what is a miracle?